Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to install Microsoft Windows 7 onto your uh, PC. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, you'll need to put your CD, uh, Windows installation CD, into your CD-ROM and then start up your computer or just, uh, if it was already started, just restart. Um, all right, you should go to this page. Once you restart, it's tell you that Windows is loading files. Uh, by the way, I'm using a virtual machine to do this because uh, I don't really like to record it with the camera on my actual PC. So, just for high definition video. All right, so the Windows is booting now. Alright, so if you come to a page like this, you don't get this usually, but if you come to a page like this, just go select your language, languages, uh, I'll go with English for this installation, and I'll do then when you come to this uh, page, make sure you have your language to like make the Windows work with. Uh, you have only you have a lot of options usually, but here I only have four, so I'll go with English and everything in English. Right, click next, click install now, and then just wait until. All right, so when you come to this page, if you you don't usually come to this page, but if you do, which is a great. You have the option of installing any version you want. Uh, into my CD, I have only uh, Home Premium, uh, Professional, and Ultimate. I'll go with the Windows Ultimate and hit Next. So here you'll be taken to a user license agreement. Uh, you must agree for it. And just click here if you do accept it and click Next. Over here, uh, I recommend to go with custom installation. So that that means that it's clean installation. You will erase all your hard drive, and you will lose all your uh, files and stuff when you go with this one. The upgrade it won't happen only if you're um, installing the Windows while the window while the Windows already turned up and running on your PC. But if you want a clean installation, just go with custom. And now over here you will be taken to a hard drive selection. Um, my Since this is a virtual machine, uh, my hard drive is already clean and stuff. But if it's not clean, just go on advanced and format. Select your hard drive and format it. This will erase all your data and like uh, makes it an empty hard drive so you can have more space to work with while you're running your windows then after selecting the hard drive you have selected usually you will have more than one hard drive like two three four some of them are recovery hard drives never mess up with them don't even play with the recovery hard drives all right make sure it says primary well Okay, over here, this hard drive I can install on because it's just an empty. So I'll just go new and apply. Click OK. And usually, Windows will make uh, another partition onto your hard drive just to save the features of Windows 7 on it. So when the installation is being processed, you will have no problems. So, as you can see here, I have two partitions now. This partition is for system uh, features uh, while the installation, as you can see, it's only 100 megabytes. 
it has took like one uh 0 0.1 gig uh, gigabyte of my hard drive as you can see here it says primary anything else than primary uh don't mess up with it just leave it as it is all right then click next as you can see my format now is available i can format it if you want, if i want but it's already clean and nothing on it so i'll just go next and now you'll be taken to the windows installation uh system so i'll pause the video while the windows is installing uh all right guys i have forget to mention something before uh and the installation so the installation will uh, restart your computer automatically um so after the restart if you were not taken to this page again okay to this page if you were taken to the very 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 first page where it says windows 7 install uh, has the option of install if you were taken there uh taken there so and you weren't on this page uh you gotta go uh onto your bios all right just restart your machine so you should be taken to a page like this uh when you go on your bios setup and uh, just navigate to your boot menu and make sure it says removable device if it was removable device cd-rom and then network boot whatever and hard drive this is your hard drive the last one is your hard drive where your windows was installed on so if your cd in your uh, uh, cd-rom and you were taken to very first page uh, where it tells you windows 7 install it gives you the option to install or cancel the installation all right on the very very first page if you were taken there after the restart all right what you gotta do make sh uh change the hard drive and make it the first uh because this is a virtual machine i have to use the plus and minus sign uh on my keyboard but on a real computer you will be using f6 and f7 to change the value to make it first second or third or navigating them all right so uh just make sure if you were only if you were taken to the first installation page to the first page if you were taken there just go and make the hard drive the first uh, th uh, the first option of your uh, boot menu you know like uh, and this if it was first so the computer won't check the CD-ROM or USBs or anything else it will just go directly to the hard drive and boot from the hard drive and remember do not take your CD off do not take the CD off the CD-ROM while installing because that could ruin your installation and might just mess it up. So make sure that the hard drive stays on the first one and then just click F10 to save and click yes and then it should be configured and everything should be good. Um, this is a different virtual machine. I'll just close it up. Okay, let's go back to all right here we go our windows has been installed so just type in whatever your username is i'll just type in my username uh moji2009 all right i know my channel says moji29 but for some reason it should be 2009 but all right, over here, if you would like to have a password on your uh, user account, uh, just type it in here. If you don't want to, uh, well, you don't need it. Click next. Um, over here is a product key. If you don't have a product key, all right, I'll be making another video how to activate Windows 7 without entering the CD code. Uh, but if you have a CD code, just type it in and click next. If you don't have it, click next. All right. And click on user recommended settings. And click on next. 
and here's your network um, like network configuration I uh, usually go with home but home takes like a lot of time uh, you will definitely go with home okay click on home network but uh, because just to save time for my video because of YouTube limitation I'll just go and click on public you click on home alright and um, here's Windows 7 Ultimate Windows is optimizing your settings and I'll pause the video while Windows is doing that alright I think the Windows has finished filtering and here it says welcome it's a welcome screen uh, as you can see Windows 7 Ultimate that I have chosen uh, to install uh, we'll just wait a bit okay I'll pause the video again uh, didn't really work okay you should see something like preparing your desktop uh, yeah alright guys uh, here's how does windows 7 uh, on the first look as you can see I just got installing updates uh, about the drivers and stuff if you have some missing drivers just go to your manufacturer company and uh, type in your uh, uh, model number of like for example if you have Toshiba like me type in Toshiba and my model number if you have Sony type in Sony and whatever your model number is HP HP and whatever model is um, and just go Windows 7 if you have 32 bit or 64 bit uh, both are different so just select your operating system like and how do you know if you have 32 or 64 click on the star menu go to computer right click and then go properties from there uh, just let it load up uh, scroll down and you should see system type and it should say 32 or 64 if 64 go for 64 links if it says 32 bit then go for 32 bit uh, links uh, and also there's some recommendation I would make uh, so uh, to get the error running if you didn't get it from the first time you installed it if you were like having something like this not my actual windows like the the windows in the operating in the virtual machine you see if if it if it doesn't has the error just uh, go on the rating and click here and then click on rate this computer and if if you already had vista with the error running then you probably can get the error run on windows 7 um and if if you want to see if your computer has been activated or not i remember if you did not put a serial key or a product key when you installed it will give you a 30 days trial all right after that uh you can't even use it anymore you have to reinstall the windows and all the stuff or you just enter ct code um if you don't have cd code just search on YouTube how to crack the Windows 7 to get like a full version without paying it. Uh, I'll be making a video on how to do that. Uh, so from now and then, guys, if you have any questions, comment below or send me a message on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Peace.